Hi everyone and welcome to the start of a new weekend reading vlog. I really debated whether or not I would do a reading vlog today because I have booked a day off, today is a Friday so I'm not working today which is nice. Um, but at the same time my reading is probably as slow as it's ever been. I cannot get through books and I think the problem is that I I just like at the start of the year just chose to read really big books which has basically set me back in my reading goals so what I want to do this weekend is try to finish off all of the unfinished books on my TBR you will have seen these in my other reading vlogs like if you've been watching my other reading vlogs thank you for watching them um you will have seen these books before because newsflash I haven't finished any of them so I am halfway through Midnight Sun and Honestly, part of me wants to DNF it. Like, I, when I'm reading it, I'm like, you know what, this is quite fun. Like, I know what's gonna happen. Like, I know Twilight. Twilight was a big part of my, my childhood, my teenage years. So I do know what happens, obviously, in the book. And when I'm reading it, yes, it is fun. But I have no desire to just pick this book up. So maybe we will try to finish it this weekend maybe maybe not another book that i really really need to finish is queen of air and darkness by cassandra clare this has been featured in my past two reading vlogs maybe and i'm a bit embarrassed to say that i've still not finished this i'm on page 291 of this 900 page novel and then i'm also reading on my kindle a book called den of vipers um i can't remember who the author is i will let you guys know later this is a dark, dark romance. And honestly, I don't read a lot of dark romances, so it's taking me a little while to get used to, but I have heard really good things. It was recommended by a few romance bloggers and Instagrammers that I follow. And it is basically about a gang. It's like a mafia type gang situation who basically take the main girl Roxy because her father owes this mafia a debt and it is very sexy it is very explicit um but I just kind of wanted a change of pace from all the kind of fantasy books that I was reading and not gonna lie like this book even though I'm struggling to read some scenes is quite enjoyable it's quite easy reading and even though I loathe the main character's voice with a passion, I do kind of like the the fact that it's just so different from anything else I'd usually read. I don't usually read dark romance and honestly like any kind of romance that is like overly explicit, like bordering on erotica where there's just not much plot, I really struggle with. But this actually has a lot of plot. So I am going to try and finish that this weekend as well. Um, but I just don't know if all of this is very, very ambitious. I think it is. But I just want to get close to trying to finish a book, you know? I'd like to finish a book, please. Anyway, the plans for today are I need to film two videos today, hence why I have a face full of makeup and I've curled my hair. You can't really tell, but there you go. Um, I'm filming a book haul and I'm filming a Jane Austen tearing video. I'm so excited for that video. But that's all the plans for today. And then this weekend, I am very, very excited. All the things are going on. Saturday, tomorrow, I am making pizzas in the evening. So I'm gonna make the dough from scratch and then we're gonna make pizzas. I am buzzing about this. And then Sunday is my first ever live stream. So this video will be going up after my live streams happen. So you'll still be able to see that on my channel just as like an upload video. But as I'm filming this, this week concludes my eighth year on BookTube. 
and I'm so, so excited that it's been eight years on booktube. And to celebrate me and Claire, aka Claire Fenby, we'll be doing a live stream of reading sprints on Sunday. So I'm really looking forward to that and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. But for now, I'm just going to drink my coffee and set up my videos. It's also a gorgeous, gorgeous sunny day outside, like hence why I'm kind of like bathed in light a little bit. Um, so I feel like I should probably leave the house today, maybe? It's gorgeous, um, but anyway. Enough rambling from me, I am going to start filming my videos and hopefully they'll go well. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So I've just finished filming. I only filmed the Jane Austen tier ranking video because I kind of realised I didn't really have enough books to haul, like for a book haul. There were like five books and I was like, this will be a very, very short book haul and I want to kind of give you guys more different books to kind of look at in my book haul. So I think I am going to transition to doing seasonal book hauls because I don't buy a lot of books. Like I'm trying to not buy loads of books and I know that isn't really like the thing on YouTube because obviously we're all book lovers here, but honestly, between getting sent books from publishers and also reading all the books that I have on my shelves that I haven't read yet, you know, I, yeah, I'm not buying loads. I'm probably buying like one or two books a month, which compared to some people isn't a lot, but for me, that is like enough. Anyway, a very, very exciting package arrived. So basically a company called Book Retreat got in touch with me on Instagram and said that they would like to send me one of their boxes. So they are a book subscription company, but they are really cool because they do kind of themed boxes. So they offered to send me the relaxation box and I'm delighted to just like open this up and see what it is. They sent me a gorgeous little note and I really love their packaging. I'll see if I can show you guys. So they just have this like gorgeous little foil sticker saying book retreat. And we're just gonna open the parcel and see what's inside. Here we go. How do I open this? Oh, it's this way. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. We've just got the little paper. Open that up. Oh my God, there is so much stuff. <gasps> Guys, this is adorable. Let me show you. So this is the relaxation. So this is the relaxation box. So already I can see that there is a scrunchie in this box, which is adorable. I'm a big fan of scrunchies. I'm wearing one in my hair right now. I don't know if you can see it. But the fun fact about this scrunchie is it has baby Yoda on it. So just if you ever thought that I wasn't nerdy at all, Oh my God, this is the most gorgeous scrunchie. Look at this. Oh, it looks so cute. Thank you to Book Retreat. What a gorgeous little gift. Okay, so this is what is in the box. Already I can see two teas. So this is a bag of organic English breakfast tea from Clipper. And I don't think I've tried Clipper's teas before, but these look really, really nice. We have the book, of course. I'm gonna open this one last. We have some little Biscoff biscuits. Perfect for a relaxation night, to be honest. And then we have some gorgeous little face masks. So this is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask. This is what it looks like. I've used this before and it's really, really lovely. And they also put in the box the Moisture Bomb Eye Tissue Mask. So I'm definitely going to be reading a book and having these on because it sounds perfect. Okay, so I can see this gorgeous little bookmark like this. You can never have too many bookmarks in my opinion. And then it's time to unbox the book. Guys, it literally feels like Christmas. <gasps> it's The Switch by Beth O'Leary. Oh my God, so I've been meaning to buy this book forever. What a lovely choice. Thank you so much to Book Retreat. You've gotten the recommendation spot on. I can't wait to read this. I've heard such amazing things. And what Book Retreat do really greatly is that they can also do bespoke boxes. So they basically work with you to choose, you know, what book would be best for you. Wow, 
What a gorgeous little package. Thank you so much for Book Retreat for sending me their box. I will leave a link to their website down below so you can order yourself your own little box or order it as a gift for someone else. I think that would also be very, very lovely. So I'm just about to grab myself some lunch and I'm going to start reading as well. I have been obviously switching between those three books that I talked about. And this morning I read about 20 pages of Queen of Air and Darkness. I'm now going to try and read a few chapters of Midnight Sun because I do really need to get through this. I'm halfway, I'm on page 373. So I am getting there with Midnight Sun. And this weekend, as I said, is gonna be all about finishing off the books. So I'm gonna go make myself some lunch, as I said, and I am gonna just return to the couch and keep reading. So hi everyone, excuse the red face. We just went on a quite a long walk which is nice um but the highlight of the trip was getting these so we went to get some cupcakes and just just prepare yourself okay how amazing do these look i'm actually in love with them <laughs> Saturday what time is it like half 12 ish um it's been quite a busy morning got up went to Sainsbury's got the food shop and now I'm just about to make pizza dough because we're gonna make pizzas tonight and I'm doing it with a few of my friends who I usually bake with you'll have seen in some of the vlogs before that um this is what we do basically just bake during lockdown so gonna start baking the pizza dough and then after that, hopefully, I will do some reading. And I'll give you guys a bit of a reading update after I get the pizza dough ready. And I'll speak to you then. in it's a little bit later the pizza dough is looking good it's just proving so hopefully it won't be a complete disaster um but a quick reading update yesterday i read quite a few pages of queen of air and darkness and i'm up to page 337 now of this book so in terms of my progress through it I feel like the pages aren't going down because it is such a huge book. Like, as you can see, I'm not even really halfway through the book and I feel like I've been reading this forever. So this is one of the reasons I don't like reading huge books because I do just feel unmotivated by the amount of progress I've made. But anyway, you know what? I'm gonna try and read this. I don't think I'll be able to finish this by the end of the weekend, the end of this reading vlog, but you know what, a girl can try. And then in terms of Midnight Sun, this is the one I've not been reading much at all. So I'm still on page 373 of this one. And 
I don't have my Kindle on me right now, but Den of Vipers, I think I'm probably around the 26% upward mark. And I am finding that one is actually the book that I'm turning to the most, even though yesterday I was telling you guys that I wasn't very sure because it's very like dark romance and it's just, I don't know, it's, it's not like the type of thing I would usually go for. It is also quite silly if that makes sense in terms of like the plot. I don't feel like it's entirely complex a plot but either way like I am finding that I am reaching to that so maybe I'll finish that by the end of this weekend who knows. I still got like an hour or so before my dough needs taking out so I'm hoping to read maybe I don't know like if I can read up to the 400 page mark of Queen of Air and Darkness I'll be quite happy with that. I am very much enjoying Queen of Air and Darkness. The thing about Cassandra Clare's novels is usually they will have quite a few different points of view which does make it easier in terms of like going back into the book because you know that like there's always a point of view that you're going to get on with the most. For me I'm definitely loving the Mark, Kieran and Christina plotline. Like their whole dynamic, like I feel like Cassandra Clare is pushing us to assume that there is going to be some kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like a polyamory situation. Like they all seem to be very, very connected to each other. And I like that it isn't a traditional love triangle. Like they kind of all just really love each other, which is strange. So I'm kind of not really sure what's going on with that plot line and that's kind of keeping me hooked to this book. I really love Kieran as a character, I love Mark as a character and to be honest like the main characters Julian and Emma, their plot line is kind of stressing me out a little bit because there is so much at stake and I feel like there's not going to be an easy resolution to their problems. So that is kind of putting me off their plotline a bit, which is not ideal because that is the main plotline to the book. So we will see. I'm going to read this hopefully for, I don't know, another half an hour or so, and then we'll see what the pizza dough is looking like. Hi everyone, it's a bit later on on Saturday. I'm now on page 439 of Queen of Air and Darkness. So I've read well over 100 pages in that little stint. And... This book is blowing my mind a little bit. In the last like 100 or so pages, let's just say everything has gone like absolutely insane. <laughs> like I didn't really expect the t the, the, this kind of like turn in direction. And if you've read Queen of Air and Darkness, you will know what I'm talking about. Um, but I'm not going to reveal any spoilers or anything because obviously there are a lot of people who haven't read the series yet and I don't want to spoil you guys. All I can say is there's a really strange kind of decision on the plot, I think. Like, I did not expect us to go where we've gone and... It's even more bittersweet because there's a certain character um, who is prevalent in this section of the book and it's just quite an emotional thing reading about it. This does mean I've gotten over the halfway point which I'm really really pleased about and honestly like I am finding it so readable now like I feel like I'm racing through these pages I still don't know if I'm going to be able to completely finish this by the end of the weekend but honestly like the rate I'm reading at the minute like I might be able to get close to the end so that is one good thing hi everyone it is currently Sunday around midday I think um so I don't think I updated you guys on how much progress I made yesterday or maybe I did, but I ended up reading more pages. Like, I blitzed through Queen of Air and Darkness. I've not finished it yet, but I am, like, halfway through, guys. I'm now on page 466 of this 900-page beast. And oh, it's everything I imagined it would be. It is so, so good. And I am finding that now that I'm in the midpoint, I am massively speeding up in terms of my reading. So... I'm really pleased with the progress I made yesterday 
I didn't read anything else in terms of, you know, the different books I'm reading. I just kind of focused on Queen of Air and Darkness. And you know what? I'm happy I did because hopefully it means that I'll get through this a little bit faster. So in terms of what I'm doing right now, it is the day of my live stream, which I'm super, super excited for. Hence why I've got makeup on because, you know, I want to make a good impression and all that. Um, but I haven't had a cup of coffee yet, so that is what I'm going to do now. And then I think I might try and read some more of Queen of Air and Darkness because it, it's just so, so good. So, it's coffee time. We've got to put a little pot in. It's very, very hard to do this one-handed, guys. I'm not going to lie. So, it's actually just started well it's not just started it's, it's been snowing all morning but like not very heavy um but i thought now would be a good time to go for a walk so we can walk in the snow um it's supposed to be i think it's supposed to be snowing for the next few days but it's london so god knows if that'll actually happen but hence why i'm in my massive puffer jacket and my hat hopefully it won't be too cold like so like such tiny little snowflakes and they kind of like hit me in the face right now I'm like, so hi from me and my massively fluffy dressing gown i've just finished my live stream and oh my god guys it was so much fun like thank you to all of you who joined in on that if you joined in and helped me read my book and did some reading sprints with me thank you so much and also thank you to claire who joined me it was so much fun and we both really enjoyed it. So thanks for joining. Also, very exciting news. Whilst I actually did that live stream, I hit 8,000 subscribers. Mind blown. Um, thank you so, so much for 8,000 subscribers. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Excuse me with the massive dressing going on. But after that live stream and all the excitement, I was like, I just, I just need to be comfy. Um, so I actually managed to read a hell of a lot of Queen of Air and Darkness in my live stream. Um, I read like over, over 100 pages and I'm in love with this book. Not gonna lie, it is, it is delivering for me. And I'm very, very aware now that I only have a few hundred pages to go until I finish this book now. And... We're currently at a scene with Kieran, Mark and Christina towards the end of the book that is uh, that is basically all I've wanted throughout the entire book and I can't believe it's actually happening. If you've read this book you will know exactly what I'm talking about but it's, it, it, it's intense. Anyway, I'm going to try and read some more tonight. We haven't eaten dinner yet and what time is it? It is 7 o'clock exactly. So still need to eat dinner and after that i do intend to just read and yeah perfect sunday Hi everyone, Lucy from the future here with a very red face and pyjamas on because it is a few days later since I last spoke to you and I have just finished Queen of Air and Darkness and I knew I needed to jump on and finish off this vlog because I have been reading this book for, not gonna lie, about two or three weeks. It's been a long haul with this book and honestly, I'm shook. So to cut to the chase, I rated this four stars. Um, I mean, this book has kind of destroyed my soul and kind of just blew my, it's just blown my mind. And the one thing I will say about it is that it sadly is just too long. And that's why I haven't given it five stars. There is so many scenes that I think could have been cut for this. Did I want them to be cut? No, but to make it a more you know in kind of impactful book i feel like maybe some scenes should have been cut 
the ending, like the whole last chapter, excluding the epilogue, was basically this celebratory party with all of the characters. And that isn't really a spoiler because like, I'm not telling you the main plot points. It just goes on and on and it does feel like a lot of fan service from Cathy Claire in the sense that you are seeing all of your favourite characters, all of your favourite ships just be happy and have what they deserve, which is really lovely. But it kind of felt like I was reading fan fiction where I was like, oh my god, everyone's so happy and so it's so lovely. Then the epilogue kind of jolts you back into reality. The epilogue was really, really interesting. And it's basically set up the series that is going to come after this series chronologically in the Shadowhunters universe called The Wicked Powers, which is set around Kit Herondale and Ty Blackthorn. And oh my god, I just can't wait for that series already. I love Kit and Ty and this book made me feel things. I'm not going to spoil it, but this book basically made me feel a lot of emotions about the two of them. And I'm very excited that they are going to get their own kind of trilogy. It's so, so exciting. Yeah, weird book in that I remember when I finished Clockwork Princess, when I finished City of Heavenly Fire, the emotions I felt during those books, you know, they were concluding their own kind of Shadowhunter series. I remember like hysterically crying during Clockwork Princess, like sobbing for hours. And I feel like City of Heavenly Fire was the same because The Mortal Instruments was a six book series. I feel like I'd really gone on a journey with the characters. And I just feel like this didn't have the same emotional payoff as I felt with Clockwork Princess and City of Heavenly Fire. The final concluding scene was just, I don't know, it was satisfying. I'm not gonna say more than that because a big plot line does get resolved, but at the same time, it's kind of, it was a bit underwhelming as well. And there are some characters that I wish just got their comeuppance and they didn't. I don't think that's a spoiler. Um, so all in all, four stars because this book is brilliantly written. I do think the pacing is off. Things could be cut, but I think Cassandra Clare like knows her fans and she knows what people want to see. And I just, oh, I've now got like favorite characters that I will treasure and without reading the series i wouldn't have been introduced to them so i'm really really pleased that i did kind of stick with this book stick it out and finished it off because it was so so good anyway this does mean i can actually move on to another book and hopefully i will be doing another reading vlog very very soon where you will see me pick up some different books be sure to tune into my february wrap up where you'll see my more thorough thoughts about this book and i really really hope you enjoy this reading vlog guys i'm going to get into bed now and i might watch some married at first sight australia because that's how exciting weekday evenings are around here so thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you very, very soon with a new reading vlog. Bye.